Hi, my name is Kevin Roberts. This is the Newburn Area Chamber of Commerce. And as they do for our community every day of the week, I have standing behind me this morning the finest nonprofits in our community. The work they do keeps this community together. And today they are here to celebrate, kick off, and talk to you about Giving Tuesday. To start that, I'll introduce their program chair and a member of our executive board, Theresa Lee. Good morning. I'm delighted to be here with all of you. I give honor where honor is due to Mayor Outlaw this morning who is with us and who is going to talk to us uh, for a few minutes about giving uh, in Newbern. And then we're going to talk uh, to Margaret Shields, who I actually first came up with Giving Tuesday. She saw it online and brought it to the nonprofit council. And, and as people would say, that's history. And so we're delighted to be here to launch Giving Tuesday uh, today in the great city of New Bern. And I put on Facebook this morning is that, you know, oftentimes we don't think about giving in our community um, until something really uh, bad happens. But I thought about it today. Black Friday is over. Cyber Monday is over. But Giving Tuesday will be with us always because there is always somebody in our community that will need us. Even some of us need the services that go on from day, uh, from day to day. And so I'm delighted to be part of the best nonprofit community in the state of North Carolina. And I would also say globally, internationally or whatever, the Newburn Area Chamber of Commerce Nonprofit Council is one of the best. And I'm delighted to be a part. And so I give to you, Mayor, Dana Outlaw this morning. Well, good morning to everybody. Kevin Roberts, would you come up real quick? I wanted Kevin to come up because Kevin and I actually grew up together. He lived on Longview Drive and I lived on Elizabeth Avenue here in Newburn. Kevin, back in the 70s, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the reason I want to say that is when Kevin and I were growing up back in the 60s and 70s, actually, none of this was here. Right. The Rotary Club was here, but very little. The Fire Mu Museum had gotten started in the 50s. But most of what you see today has not been around a long time. And when people come to Newburn, North Carolina, they see Trine Palace and other things. But it's the heart and soul of these groups that are really bringing people to Newburn. Now, because we're so giving, when Teresa called me the other day, I thought that I was getting an early Christmas gift. So I didn't know all these groups were going to be here. I came down to receive my Christmas gift, and you don't have it for me. So I'm going to give everybody here my wish list for Newburn, North Carolina for next year. Through these groups, the Partners in Education, the Coastal Community Actions, Lovey and her Garden Club, the, vet, the Veterans Garden Club, Anthony and your group, the literacy, all these things, I think I deserve and can get because I know these people can deliver my set of goods. I want for Newber next year for the Board of Aldermen a, a wellness campaign for our city because a wellness campaign and we're all healthier means that we're all feeling better by ourselves and our employment rates are going to go down. So I want I want wellness for Newburn. When we ride around Newburn to get all of us on the same page as to where we all feel like we're part of Newburn, I want a comprehensive mowing campaign to go in and clean up the inner city, to show pride and love, to identify why these lots are, are not mowed, what we can do to clean them up, what we can do to restore faith in Mankind that we all are going to branch out throughout Newburn and deliver on these goods and then we're going to bring single-family Homes into these areas and we're going to help our inner city grow The next thing I want is as we stress out our recreation Facilities here in Newburn. We have a beautiful rock quarry. I want a big dog park a bigger dog park than Glen Burnie Drive I want a future amphitheater, which is going to be a kind of like what you have up in Raleigh that we can bring big groups in. And so let's start out and do some baby steps there. The biggest thing we've all seen in trying to take our public housing to affordable housing is we have found that we lack on every study that comes into Newburn of how to get people to and from. If we can get people to the community college, if we can get them to their jobs, 
if we can have a bus system in our area that will go from the airport to the mall to Trent Court to Craven Terrace to the downtown area, if we have mass transit, people that produces lower unemployment. So that's one of the last things I want. So again, I thought you were going to give me my Christmas gift, so I'm just giving you my wish list. Thank you. And I want to tell you that New Bern is a much better place. I remember so many of these that got started. I remember Partners in Education that started out with a few people talking about making education better. Are you aware that State Police Credit Union will come in and build apartments for, to attract more teachers into the area and they'll low finance and they've got a beautiful program for that. So these groups are the ones that have made it happen, and we're depending on you big time because you're going to have to help Teresa give me my gifts I want yes. next year for Newbern. I love y'all, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and so at this, at this time, we're going to start giving the name of our nonprofits. And so we're going to start over here with uh, Margaret, whose brainchild it was to... Uh, research giving Tuesday and bring it to us uh, and so we're delighted to start with her this Thank morning. You. And I'm representing Crystal Pill and Healthcare Foundation this morning. Coastal Community Action. YMCA. Newburn Chapter of the Continental Society Incorporated. Craven Smart Start. Newburn Fireman's Museum. Easter Seals UCP. Promise Place. Craven Literacy Council. Senior Pharmacy Program of Catholic Charity. Coastal Women's Shelter. Seeds Mastery. Faith Refugee Ministry. Swiss Bureau Downtown Development. Eastern, <laughs> Eastern Carolina Workforce Development Board. Newburn Breakfast Rotary Club. Salvation Army. Army. United Way of Coastal Carolina. American Red Cross. Foundation. Camp Seagull and Camp Seafair. Arundel Carrot Academy. A Dog's Dream Dreamers Foundation. Veterans Employment Base Camp in Organic Garden. Ryan Powers Foundation. Thank you so much, Newbern Now, for allowing us to launch Giving Tuesday in Craven County. Thank you so much. We want to, again, thank the Newbern Sun Journal, who has been a great partner in running all the articles beginning uh, November the 1st through November the 26th. And to all the nonprofits in uh, Newbern, go out and do acts of kindness, because what you give, you shall get back. Thank you so much. Again, give, 